This witness, Robert Henry, did place Wayne Williams with the very last victim, Nathaniel Cater. Henry worked with Cater. He said he saw him leaving this theater with Williams on the night of the bridge incident. Henry has no doubt, even today, about what he saw. We were holding hands, you know, like male and female. <laughs> well, if you're holding hands with one of my co-workers and both of you are males, what am I supposed to do? Turn my head? What's up, people? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. When Wayne Williams took the stand, he swore he never met Nathaniel Cater. On the evening Henry said he saw them, Wayne testified he was home, sick and asleep in bed. His mother and father, now deceased, backed him up. Homer Williams said he had the white station wagon until almost midnight. Under cross-examination, in his third day on the stand, Wayne Williams blew up at prosecutor Jack Mallard. That morning, he was a complete different person. Immediately, he started attacking. He came out of the chute like a bull. When he said, uh, you want the real Wayne Williams, you've got him. And I think all of us, the jury, understood that, yeah. I was probably my own worst enemy. I was a, a arrogant, bus-headed idiot at the time. And I played right into these people's hands. I could see almost the shock in the jurors faces. They said, my God, is this the same Wayne that was up here yesterday? I could see that. When you got angry with the prosecutor, you said, you're a drop shot. I called him a drop What's shot. What's a drop shot? What's that mean? Quite simply, in our vernacular, a drop shot is a guy who's not worth much of anything. <laughs> you know, just drop him and shoot him and get him out of the way. In other words, you're useless. We reminded Wayne that he also called poor black children on the streets the same thing, drop shots. That does not make me a murderer simply because I said somebody is a drop shot or because I called him a drop shot. That does not make Wayne Williams a murderer because I said somebody is a street urchin. You know, come on, we're talking about murder. The fact is, I didn't kill anybody. Patrick Baltazar's stepmother was watching in court that day. I'm like, this man got to be crazy. This man, <laughs> I mean, he, it's like he's saying, you know, yeah, I killed him, but you better prove it. You know, can you prove it? He was doing everything he can to outsmart everybody. And it was like, I did it, but can you prove I did it? The jury didn't come back until late the second evening. The verdict, guilty on both counts of murder. Wayne Williams was sentenced to serve two life terms. People only wanted to look at the negative side because they wanted in their heart for this case to be over and for Wayne to be the Atlanta monster, they wanted closure at any cost.